channel house of visual and today we are going to see how to create a lollipop chart in power bi without using any custom visual so we are going to create a lollipop chart in a very simple way and it's going to be very easy so let's go and see how it's going to be so before doing that we have to first enable the on object interaction let's go to file option and setting options then you will get the preview feature and there we have on object interaction once you enable this i have already done this so you have to just enable this option and once you have done you have to restart your file and yeah that's it so let's go to new page and see how it's going to be so we are going to just use a simple line chart over here and once it is done you have to add fields over here so on x axis we are going to have product and on y axis we are going to have sales so we are going to do, see the sales product over the product See, sorry i mean sales for a different product yeah so over here we are going to see the sales over different product right so once this is done the reason we are go you going to use the on object interaction is that we want this error bar option i don't know why for what reason uh, in normal way we don't get this error bar option but in on object interaction we get this option so yeah and uh, yeah so here the main thing we are using error bar is for this upper bound and lower bound so this is where magic is going to be created so in upper bound option we are going to simply use a total sales sum of sales okay and in lower bound we are going to use a lower bound which is just a zero value so let me show you also so yeah upper bound we have measure sum and we have total sum of sales and in lower bound we have just assigned a zero value so once you do this, you have to go. Once you add all those fields and an error bar chart, you just simply have to go and enable this option. So once the option is enabled, you can see all these lines we have. So we have the stick part of the lollipop chart, but we want that sweet circle part of the lollipop. So that is also very simple. All you have to do is go to the. Um, sorry, no, it's a little confusing now. So you have to go to the markers, enable it and you have the circle part and you have to increase the size a little bit uh, i think this is enough and you will see different different markers are there but we want circle to look like exactly like a lollipop and in color we can go with different color option so in color we can choose orange no. so almost we are there but still we can see this lines connecting lines so to disable that part we have to go to lines undo this stroke with zero see we already have a lollipop chart but i want this bit uh, line stick with to be a little bit more so we have to go to the error bar and in error bar we have this bar option so from here you can increase the width size and also customize it you can go with this color uh, i just like all these combinations you can have whatever color of your choice no, but yeah, this one is fine so we are going with this color so yeah we have our lollipop chart but we still want a little bit customization and we have other shapes also here like if you want to you know marker size of the lower bound you can highlight that also but uh, right now we are keeping none because mostly our concentration is to create a lollipop chart and next i want to remove this horizontal grid lines so you have to go over grid lines and disable this part and we can also customize x-axis, y-axis a little bit. So on y-axis, we will remove this uh, y-axis and we will show the title. Yeah. And in x-axis, we can remove this title part. We already see this product. It is a product. And no, we can uh, increase a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, further we can do a little bit customization and everything but uh, I think for now it's fine we are going to give them the same segue font so it look a little bit similar yeah. and uh, further you can do a title customization anything you want but yeah right now we have our lollipop chart but I also want to see the labels right uh, so if you go to the data labels Data label, yeah, here it is a data label, and we will enable this option. But all right, not mismatch, so we're going to place all above 
and also enable the background right and recently in data label we also have now customized label option so you can go with that also but uh, currently i'm going with simple because it's all about lollipop chart so yeah, we have our lollipop chart over here and yeah uh, this is it and one more thing if you go to tooltip you can see all these upper lower values also but i don't want this because it will it look like a hodgepodge so we are going to keep it simple i just want to see a sum of sales so what i early did was i went to this and just tooled it but it will disable everything so there is going to properties we are going to visual and in visual settings in error bar only you have the option of tooltips so you can remove these tooltips and it will remove the upper bound and lower bound value so you now you have your sum of sales value and you don't need uh, the upper bound and lower bound value so now that is removed and you just have the sum of sales values yeah so we have our uh, lollipop chart here it's very simple and i found it a little bit creative also you can use this a little bit attractive way and it looks really nice i hope you guys also try this and tell me in a comment how you like this and do suggest me if i am wrong somewhere and do tell me what the topic or video you want next and don't forget to like and subscribe